Shida. Malau. I wish I was that flexible. Me too. Uh, I mean, I was a yoga teacher in Trinidad. I am giving free classes online to my students back home. Try to bring the leg as close to you as much as you can. Your body's not supposed to do that. That is impressive. My it's flexibility impressive. is an L. No, no, you're a C. Why? I'm an F. Take your elbows, place it on the inside of your knees. <laughs> I realize, okay, it's a little too long and it's a prank. You married a, a goofy kind of guy, you know. <laughs> you know, one that takes you to dilapidated houses, and rusty vans. Makes fart noises in your class. I don't know when the pranks are coming. You never know. But don't touch the back of his head. Elbow. This is what came in the mail for me. Oh, snap. My employment card. Oh, oh nice. Congrats. Yay. Awesome. Let Bilal hurry up and get you that yoga studio you guys uh -huh. put in the prenup. Uh, you know, there's things you have to do there we prior. Go. You need to start marketing because no one knows you here in the city. That won't be hard. She's account. on TV. Um, yes, everyone knows you. Credit. Right now, you don't have credit. You have How credit. You You're her husband. It's, it's the baby stuff. all over again. Yeah. Well, you know. God, he always is giving her a bunch yeah. of BS. She has a huge learning curve when it comes to growing and developing and starting a business. You don't really, really know that, actually, because she hasn't done it here. I know Bilal thinks he's being helpful. But he has been telling me to hold off my business plans because I didn't have a work permit. But now that I finally have one, Bilal keeps talking about all these obstacles that I have in my way. Why didn't you tell her to start marketing and doing all these things while she was waiting for a work permit? It's just because you don't want her to do it. That's the only reason. He's stifling. Just wants to control everything. You still gotta bring some things to the table beyond just your flexibility skills. Yeah. You know, because you gotta run it. You know, it's your thing. Relax. Exactly. Relax, Bilal. Relax, Bilal. Give her a chance. If she's focused on her yoga. It gives her you no know, chance to be a little bit more constructive versus just being at home and thinking about buying baby clothes. Oh, this is my way out. I can buy a yoga studio. Exactly. I have a very busy day ahead of me. So Stacy, as well as Mimi, we all work together. They were available to help Shy and show her some property. They were in another Huge corsage. Building. Is that his that thing? I'm, I'm confused. Going to a school dance. There is a confused by his attire. Being... Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Oh, wow. Isn't this a great space? Let's walk over here and check it out. So this would be a great space back here if you wanted to sublease out. What sublease do you think? Sublease to what? Another yogi. Well, he counts every penny, every dollar, every cent. So that's I think it's a business man, though, yeah? That's what it comes with. It's not so as much he... fun that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Although Bilal is not here, I am not complaining. I feel if he was here, he would have definitely just semi-demolished my dreams. Her usual. Students. If you even had a little bit of more space, mm -hmm. It would give you maybe a space for childcare. Sounds yeah, like an insurance nightmare. <laughs> Yoga and babies. Have you guys talked at all about the baby timeline? Or you don't know what you just did. Mind your business, lady. I think that back should be filled with goats. And then they could do the goat yoga. Ooh. Maybe they should throw some llamas back there. They could do llama yoga too. Is that a thing? It's a thing. I never heard of that. There's all types of yoga. I need Bilal to see the big picture. I know it's not going to be easy because I'm new to this country, but I'm tired of waiting. She's ready to start. Living her life, the lad, holding her up. <laughs>